Wednesday guys, welcome back to another bullet journal plan with me. So for the title page I kept it really simple and I just went with a cactus theme this month because obviously it's green and I wanted green for March and cactuses are really easy to draw, you literally just draw a circle and add a few little spikes. I also brought out some watercolour pencils, so last month I used actual watercolours and this time I wanted to try out these watercolour pencils. So you just colour them in like a regular pencil and then you just add some water on top and it just turns it into watercolour. You can totally just do this with coloured pencils and it will still look really nice but by adding the water it kind of gets rid of the pencil lines and it just looks like a smooth paint. So for my calendar this month I went for a vertical setup whereas last month I done a horizontal and I didn't really get on with it. I much prefer this kind of setup. So after drawing all of my boxes I took my ruler and drew a diagonal line at the top left of each box and then I just coloured it in with a black pen. I then took my white gel pen and wrote the dates on all of the black corners. I wanted to keep my calendar page really simple this month and I thought this was a good idea. So at the bottom I want to have a section to write all of my Etsy releases for the month and then I just doodled a little cactus down at the bottom. And then on the other side I decided to write down some main tasks that I would like to get done throughout the whole of March. And I have been practicing with my Tombow brush pen so I'm just biting the bullet and using it this month. And then I just coloured everything in and also done a little green accent on the March writing. These are the pens that I've been using, they're from a place called Scribblicious and I will leave a link down in the description box on where I picked them up from. So I wanted to do another mood tracker again and I labelled this one How You Doing which always reminds me of Joey from Friends but I'm not going to embarrass myself and try and say it like he does. And for my tracker this month I'm just drawing up some cactuses and then I will section each cactus so there are 31 sections throughout which is a day for every day of the month. I also done a little bit of shading just using my pen just to create some life into the drawing. And then I just counted through to make sure there were 31 sections for obviously each day of this month. At the top I filled in my key and this month I decided to keep within the green scheme so I'm just going to use different colour greens which will mean different kind of feelings. This way all the cactuses will be green, they would just be different shades of green. My mood tracker worked out really well last month so I'm excited to carry it on this month. On this side I decided to set up a page that I'll be able to come back and use throughout the month. So I've labelled this Feed Me and I've drawn a little pot there with a Please Grow because for some reason I can't keep plants alive. I can keep humans alive, I've got three children and they are alive but plants are not my friends. So I just drew out four boxes with four little banners at the top which I labelled from week one to week four. Then using some post-it notes I'm going to label out the dinners for the week so Monday to Sunday I'll just write down some dinners and then I can stick it down on to week one. And then fill up the rest of the weeks with different meal ideas. This way I can take a week of meals and either take that shopping with me or just replace it with a different meal list for the next month. Moving on to my habit tracker, it's going to be pretty much the same as last month as it worked really well and I'm still quite new to tracking things in my bullet journal so once I get the hang of tracking everything every week and every month then I might change it up a little bit.
I scented my tracker this month and so I had some room on the side and I just doodled a few little pot plants or cactuses. If you're a bit of a doodler and you like doing little things when you're bored, you could leave these plain and then just fill them up throughout the month and colour them in as you go. But I just decided to fill them all in now. I used my watercolour pencils to fill these in and then I just went over the top with some water to activate the pencils. On the other side I wanted to do a quote box as I haven't done a quote yet this month. So I just drew a frame and then made a little bit of a drop shadow on one side and then I wrote the quote, you are beautiful no matter what shape you are. And then in the middle I just doodled a few cactuses and then coloured them in. If you're not confident in drawing you can definitely print out some pictures that you like and stick them in or you can use stickers or even pictures from like a magazine or anything that you have you can kind of cut out and stick down if you don't like drawing but cactuses I find are really easy to draw you literally just draw a little bubble and you add some spikes on top <laughs> so after I coloured them in I just dipped a grey watercolour pencil directly into water and just done a little bit of shading on the side of the pots So turning the page we are going to start with the weekly spreads and I just wanted something really quick, really easy and really simple so I literally just wrote the day and then put the date next to it. I'm going to put a little doodle on each page and this is like a really spiky pot plant and it says embrace messy hair. I always label my weeks at the top and then put the dates that the weeks run through. Again you can use stickers or print out a picture that you like and stick it in, you don't have to doodle on each page. I took a green pen just to underline the dates as I thought it might make it stand out a little bit more. So if you're like me, you may have a few rolls of washi lying around in your collection and I really wanted to do something with my washi and I suddenly realised I'm not going to fit all of these on one page. So I decided to, as I bought some washi at the weekend, I decided to kind of decorate a page with my new washi. So I labelled the top washi tape collection and then I just wrote new on the side. I then took all of the rolls that I had bought at the weekend and just tore a bit off and stuck it down in a random pattern.
I then went back and just created a box around each washi tape as like a border and to make it stand out almost like a gallery wall. You could create my favourite washi tape collection and then just stick all of your favourite washi tapes down or you could even do a theme so you could choose a colour for the month like green for March and then stick all of your green washies down and make like a little collage of green washies. And just in case you were wondering, I bought 19 rolls of washi at the weekend. If you've got the number for Washi Tape Anonymous, please leave it below. So that was it for my March bullet journal spread. I'm just going to give you a quick flip through. I did go back and add a few things that I know that's happening in March to my calendar. I'm so happy that I finally decided to do a bullet journal. I was so unsure whether I should start one because I know that my bullet journal isn't going to be perfect and it's not going to be kind of Instagram and Pinterest worthy, but I'm hoping I will get better as I go along and I'm actually really enjoying using it. So if you're still on the fence, then definitely go and get one and just, just do it. I hope you enjoyed this month's bullet journal plan with me. If you did, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe. I hope you all have a really lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.